Established in 1925, ATCC is the premier global biological materials resource and standards organization. Our mission focuses on the acquisition, authentication, production, preservation, development, and distribution of standard reference microorganisms, cell lines, and other materials. Today we're going to focus on the development aspect of our mission and talk about how ATCC's Cell Biology R&D team utilizes the latest technologies to develop more relevant gene-edited cell models to use in basic research, assay development, drug discovery, and toxicology screening. These models are especially relevant for cancer research and drug discovery. To build the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing platform, ATCC has invested in building our R&D team of talented employees and capitalized on our in-house molecular biology and cell biology expertise. Physiologically relevant cell-based assays are critical for basic research and drug development because these models do a better job of recapitulating the human situation. In recent years, CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology has emerged as one of the most important scientific breakthroughs because it allows for precise editing of the human genome using a simpler, faster, and less expensive method than previous gene editing technologies. This technology has revolutionized the creation of in vitro tools for biomedical research. We can now create new cell models containing biomarkers of disease that can be applied towards personalized medicine. With the CRISPR-Cas9 technology, we have created isogenic cell lines with mutants of key oncogenes, which can be used to model a specific patient population for identifying novel personalized therapies. To create a relevant isogenic model for cancer research, ATCC is able to screen its collection of more than a thousand human cancer cell lines to identify the most relevant ones for a certain type of cancer. First, we design and use single guide RNAs in combination with Cas9 to target desired regions and trigger translocation or introduce point mutations in the parental cells. The resulting isogenic clones show similar morphology and growth rate compared to their parental cell lines, indicating that the gene editing procedure didn't alter the growth characteristics of the cells. We validate the gene edited mutations at multiple levels. Confirmation of the mutation is carried out via Sanger sequencing for the expected 5' prime and 3' prime genomic breakpoints. Then, the expression of the mutation at the mRNA level is validated through sequencing of cDNA from the mutant cell's transcripts. Next, the sample is tested at the protein level to confirm the expected molecular weight and the expression level. Extensive off-target analysis is also performed to ensure no other unexpected mutation is introduced. The isogenic cell lines harboring cancer mutants are then tested at the functional level to validate that they are relevant models for drug screening. The expected result is a selective dose response curve to appropriate drug compounds. Here, we showcase two examples. The dose responses of a lung carcinoma model the EML4 ALK fusion isogenic cell line to ALK specific drugs and a non specific chemotherapy drug, and those of the NRAS mutant isogenic cell line. The results are consistent regardless of the assays used, indicating a physiologically relevant model for drug screening. Future development of isogenic cell models will also go through the same process of multi level validation. Here's an example where further R&D work was carried out on a gene-edited isogenic cell line. How a cell model behaves in 3D cell culture can be an important factor. Here, we show the differential responses in 3D culture of the parental cell line and the gene-edited isogenic model to a therapeutic compound. Making sure that your model is clinically relevant is essential to the success of your cancer therapeutic discovery efforts. ATCC can help. For more information, visit atcc.org forward slash gene dash edited.